so today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the September Inku Crate. So Japan Crate sent this one to me to review for you guys today. They've also given me an affiliate discount code and link. So if you want to get $3 off your first subscription of any of the Japan Crates, then you can use the code MEIVU. I'll leave all the information about that in the description box below. But let's open up this month's crate and see what's inside. Uh, let's have a look at this information booklet first. So it says Inku by Japan Crate, uh, September 2020. And the front cover is actually in like blue and pink this time, as previously they've been in like a purple color. So here is the back and their social media there. And then on the inside here, there's some pictures of people with the Inku Crate and all the items inside. And then on this side, there's some information about the giveaway and also Sugoi Mart. So let's open up the first item and see what it is. The first item here is this memo pad. It has lots of pastel colors on it. Here is the back and it has a couple of different memo sheets. So there's this one here and then also this design here. So this is the mini memo, so it says take down your ideas or notes with these retro pop style memo pads. They also work great in scrapbooks and journals as pieces to liven up your spreads. And let's grab the next item, I can see some washi tape here. So we have this Tomoko Hayashi masking tape and it's flower garden. And this is a really pretty design, it has lots of different coloured flowers. There's the back for this one, so it looks like it's made by an artist, so let's have a look information. This is the floral washi tape. These lovely floral printed washi tapes are designed by Japanese illustrator Tomoko Hayashi. Let's open up this washi tape and have a closer look at it. Here is the washi tape design. It has all these different colored flowers on it. And let me see the sizing for this one. And this is a 15 millimeter by 10 meter tape. On to the next item, I can see something that's made by Mindwave here, which is one of my favorite Japanese stationery brands. So this is a joint stamp. You can use them in like schedules and things like that, um, as you can see on the side here. And it looks like there's four different designs. So we have this little frog here, a rabbit, I think that's a chicken maybe, and a bear. So there is the back. Let's have a look at the information. This stamp is made up of joints with different stamps imprinted on each. Apply four different cute designs to your planners, notes and more. So let's open this one up. And I think you just twist the bottom like this. So we have this stamp here. And it kind of like clicks back into place. So there's the second one. The third one. And the fourth one. And then the top also opens like this. So let's test these out. I have the memo pad here. So let's test this first one, which is this little bear. And then the next one is this little chicken. Which looks like that. This next one is this rabbit with some heart eyes. There are the little stamps. I think this would be really cute on an Animal Crossing page as these are some of the villager types. The next item looks like it's a sheet of stickers. So this is the My Journal menu idea and it has all these different food items on it and they have really cute little illustrations as well. So these are the menu stickers. So it says, if you love planning your meals or documenting what you ate, these stickers are just for you. Add them to your planner or journal when you have food on the mind. So let's open these ones up and have a look at them. And these ones are kind of like a washi tape kind of material, so you can see them there. So those are the menu idea stickers. And it looks like there's another sheet of stickers here, so let's grab these ones. So these are also by My Journal, and these are travel plans. So these are really useful for journaling as well. And there's also some food and like sightseeing pictures here. So there's like Mount Fuji here, and some like Tordi Gates, and also some like matcha ice cream and dango. And they even have like check-in and check-out dates. So if you're using these for like a travel planning type of diary, then these would be really useful. So let's have a look at the information for this one. These stickers are perfect for planners to plot out any future travel plans you may have, especially ones for a trip to Japan. So here are the stickers and they're the same kind of like washi tape material, as you guys can see, like that. And you also have like the timing here, so you can like put different items on like your actual travel plan. So like you're leaving and getting the train at this time, then you're arriving at this time, and then like what you're going to do throughout the rest of the day. 
So those are the travel plan stickers. And now I think this is the last item in the box, so let's take this one out. And it looks like this is actually a journal, which is really cool. So it looks like this is a six ring binder and it's an A5 size. So this is really cool to actually get a journal and it looks like we have some like paper as well. And they have this really pretty like ombre color, like in pastel. So this is a custom note and there's it's A5 size with 30 pieces. And it looks like this is a cover and oh my gosh, it has like sequins in it. So this is the DIY planner set. So it says this three piece DIY set allows you to set up your A5 size planner as you like. Each set comes with an A5 six hole binder, sparkly confetti PVC cover and weekly page inserts. You can add any A5 six hole pages into this binder for even more customization. If you already have a planner, you can make it a journal, photo album, sticker binder and more. So let's open these ones up and put it all together. Here is the binder and it says shining days we are smile producers on the front there. I think you push this down to open so it pops up like that and then it can close like that. Let's open up this one here. So it looks like there was two of these. So there's these green and blue confetti and then also a pink and purple one. So there's all different pieces of confetti in here and some of them are like sparkly, which is super pretty, but most of them are in like a blue and kind of purple and green. So it opens up like this and then we can put the binder into the sleeve. And then put the other sleeve in like this. So then we have the cover and it also has this blue button here to keep it shut. And then all the confetti inside, which is so cute. I really like this one. And then here is the note paper. It gives you some examples of like how you can like lay out the days of the week. And I think there's two series for this one as well. There's like pink and orange and then this like blue kind of color. So we have all the days of the week there. You can write some notes off the top here. And they look like this. So I think there's, it said it was 30 pieces of paper in this one. Let's put this into the journal as well. And then the paper goes in like this. I think this would be really cute as like a travel journal, kind of like photo diary, as you could put like the different days you traveled on and then some like small pictures here of each day. But I think I could also use these as like a regular journal page and just like cover up the weekdays with um, like memo papers or something like that and then write over the top. And since this is an A5 journal, you could probably buy some A5 inserts of some other colors as well or even like cut some colored paper to size. So that is the journal. I can't wait to use this one. So let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see like an A5 journal setup. I definitely could do like a cover page on this one since the front is transparent here and you could see the cover through the plastic. Or if you have any other journal ideas to use the weekly pages, then let me know in the comments as well. So that was everything that was in the September Inku Crate. This one was one of my favorite months so far as I love that an actual journal was included and the glitter cover is super cute as well. If you guys want to check out Inku Crate or any other Japan crate like Doki Doki Crate or Gacha Gacha Crate, I'll leave my affiliate link and also discount code in the description box below. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!